Right, welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking another look at the best online image conversion tool that is available at the moment. And that is, of course, markam.uk. This is an online image conversion tool that me and a friend of mine have developed and produced to try and be the single best place to convert your images, whether it be like line drawing uh, for like vinyl cutting or SVG or converting your images for laser engraving or just for print. We're trying to put it all in one place and try and make it as best as possible. But if you have seen the videos and you've used the website before, you'll notice there are some massive differences on there, which is what we're going to be covering today. So the website, again, is markam.uk. We will put it down in the description. I'll just log out and I'll show you exactly what you'll see when you go onto the website and how to sign up and things like that. So top right here, you've got your account. I'm just going to sign out of this. Right, so this is the front page of the website, which you should see once you go on it. We've got a few videos here, which we have made, which just shows you what it can do and how it works. But there's been so many different updates on there at the moment. These, even though the kind are still relevant, the results will differ quite a bit. So with this video, hopefully it'll be updated very soon and it'll be a better instructional video, even though you're watching it right now. We are also looking for other content creators to have a go with the website and I'd love to feature your video on here. So if you are a content creator and you do anything like vinyl cutting, laser engraving, print or anything like that, and you do want to give the website a go, get in touch. I'll put my email down in the description. I can send you a load of free credits to use on the website and then you can give a review of it. Let us know how it goes and hopefully we can feature your video on here. I know if you're not a content creator, but you would like to be featured on you, let us know. Give us a review of the website and what you think of it and rate it, you know, out of five stars down below in the comment section, because we would like to put them down here as well. OK, right. So let's create an account with this. So on the front page, you've got the option to create an account or sign in. So let's imagine I'm a new user, create an account. You can just go with your Google account and it should just log you in straight away or continue with email your email address in your password confirm your password and then create an account what will happen is then they'll send you an email to verify your account but it may go in your spam folder so just double check for that um, but if you haven't received it a button should pop up here to resend it so let's imagine you've registered with your email address you've verified your account you come back here and you go sign in so if you're signing in with your email you put your email and password in there i'm going to sign in with my google account so i'm just going to log that in now and once you're all registered and logged in, you should be greeted with this page. Now, in the top right here, you should see my credits. When you register as a new user, you should get five free credits. So if it shows up as zero, refresh the page. It may take a minute or two, but they should update on it automatically. You've also got your account up here. So if you click this little icon up here, you've got your account settings. This will show you your email address, how you signed in uh, when you created your account, how many credits you got, how many images you converted, we do also have a pretty cool ranking system as well. So let us know how far you get on the ranking. I'm nearly a, a grandmaster of all lines. So yeah, I've created quite a few images on you to be fair. Uh, change your password, you can resend your verification and then you can log out and then you've got the option to view the prices and buy credits or you can delete your account. We'll check out the prices and buy in credits at the moment. So first of all, we'll have a look at the, uh, the styles and everything and what you can do. So you've got your section on the left to upload your image, select your style and generate. Your center section is where your image should show. We've got a toggle on and off button as well, which we will again show you in a moment. And then on the right hand side, we've got your gallery. So the last six images you've converted should show up over here. So you click it and it should open up in a bigger screen for you. And then we've got our Facebook community. So go over there and uh, join the group if you want. Um, Quite a lot going on at the moment. You know, you can share your creations. I do tend to put quite a few free images on the I created, especially when testing the website. And I do also offer lots of free credits as well to, to members over there. So yeah, definitely get over there, guys. You can get your chance of uh, winning some free credits. And then the YouTube channel. So get on that. If you're not subscribed already, guys, subscribe to the channel, obviously. And if you're enjoying the video, give it a thumbs up. So let's go back over here on the left hand side. Before we upload an image or anything in the center, you can see it says select the style to preview how it looks. So let's go line art. So this is an example of what the line art style would create. If you want to look at the original image, you just click and it'll show you. Or you can toggle it on and off at the bottom there. And you can see the outline and everything is so close to the actual original image. 
I would say that's like 99.9% perfect. And that's probably one of the best things about the new update for this website. We have recently transferred it over to a new API with the one we were using before, OpenAI. They were doing a lot of stuff with it and changing it and everything just started to become really stylized and cartoony. And we just didn't like it and that's not the route we wanted to go down. So yeah, we got a new API. It does actually work out a little bit cheaper and that's how we can give our new users five free credits now. So yeah, that's the line art. You can go through all of these. You've got thick line art. So that's just an image of the cupcake. Again, it does kind of play tricks on your eyes a bit, but that is pretty much one-to-one -one of the original image. Detail line art, just a random AI generated photo. Pen and ink, one of my favorite styles we're currently using. And uh, this, just a random vector image there. Uh, again, it's converted it so well, and it does just look like a hand drawn image from a pen. Pencil sketch. Again, another AI generated image. None of these images of people I use on the website out of real people. They are just randomly AI generated images. I didn't want to use images of real people. And then we got tattoo, which is another pretty cool image. We've also got wireframe, which is one that we're still kind of working on. It's really hard to get this one right. So what we're going for is this kind of style. These are really hard to make by hand. And I've always wanted to make my own, but I've just never been able to do it. I've never really had the time or patience. So that's exactly why I've customized this style to work with a wireframe. You will get different results depending on what you do obviously upload. You will obviously get different results with the type of images you will upload. But yeah, this is a really cool one. I can't wait to test it out and cut out some acrylic lamps uh, with my own designs. Again, the original image there. But yeah, it's the same all the way through. You can have a look at each one. Um, I will describe this recipe extract one to you actually as well. So this is more for people who are looking to get um, like handwriting or doodles. It, it does work with hand-drawn doodles as well, but I see a lot of requests online of people asking to uh, to basically convert the text to to a vector so they can engrave it on, you know, sentimental items. So it's just, just a random image of a recipe. And we've designed this button to basically take away any extra lines, anything that shouldn't be there, and it should just extract the text. And um, as you can see with this example, it's pretty much perfect. This is exactly the handwriting it was. It just works so well. Sometimes if you've got like images on your recipe cards, it may try and interpret that as text because we've only ever asked it to, to write text. But you can convert images out into SVG and then edit them in something like Inkscape very easily. Um, everything else, I believe, is self-explanatory. But yeah, feel free to check them all out with this toggle before and after button as well. It does work with images you've uploaded. So that's that section there. So obviously that's going to give you examples of the type of results you are expected to get. So before we do upload an image and just show you exactly how it does work, let's have a quick look at our pricing or buying credits. They're pretty much the same page. So let's go up to buy credits. So let's say you've used your five free credits. You're really happy with it and now you want to give it a go and you need to buy some credits. We just go up here, press buy credits. This will then take you to a page to obviously have a look how much it costs and how many credits you get. On the older system, we did have the 10 credits, $2, 25, 4, and 50 credits for 7. And then we've added this extra option here for the 500 credits for $50. So that works out. It's about 10 cents an image to convert for you. Press buy now and you'll see this loads up Stripe. So it's a Stripe checkout. This is not our website. It's completely secure. And then obviously you can see you've got four, $4. You're happy with that. So you can pay with PayPal, Link. Amazon Pay. You can use Apple Pay if you're on your Apple phone, or if you're on like a Google phone, you can use Google Pay. You can pay by card, but whichever way you want to do it, any of them should work. So once you put your details in, press pay, should take you back to the home page, and then your credits should update. What I will say at the moment, because I have recently hit 20,000 subscribers on YouTube as well, I am going to be putting a promotion code on the website for both our 50 credits and 500 credit option. So because we've got 20,000 subscribers, it's going to be 20% off. Now, this promotion code is only going to be available for the first 50 people who want to use it. So it's on like a first come, first serve basis. So if you try it and it doesn't work, it, it just means they've all been claimed. So yeah, we'll put that promotion code down in the description as well. So if you want to grab yourself a bit more of a bargain and then use that before it runs out. Okay, so let's say you've registered, you've signed up on the website, you've bought your credits, I know you're ready to start using it properly. Let's have a look, see what we can do. So you can alternately just click the button and load an image from your computer, or you can drag and drop into this. So let me just find a random image on my computer. 
Let's go with this baby orangutan. So I'm going to drag and drop him in there and you'll see another box should pop open. So you've got the options here to crop this. You've got square, portrait or landscape. If you ever see that your images do not fit in there, it is because the resolution on your images is just far too big. All you need to do is just bring them down a little bit. We may change it in the future where we will allow you to crop the bigger pictures, but it just it costs us more to do it with higher resolution images and we have to put the prices up and that's not something we want to do. But yeah, you can move this up and down. You can obviously go landscape up and down or portrait and you go left and right. But I'm just going to keep it square and try and fit him in there as best as possible. And I'm going to go crop. And then we go. We've got our guy in there and then we're ready to select one of these styles. Let's just go with pencil sketch because it's a really nice style to use. I'm just going to press generate and the bar should load. And it can take anywhere between about 30 seconds to like a minute or two, depending on how many people are using it and how busy the uh, the servers are. But yeah, usually it doesn't take long at all. So we'll just let that run now for a couple of seconds. And there we go. We can see our image is here all converted. It's also over here in our gallery and we can toggle on and off the, the original image and that one so you can have a look to see how close it is to your original image. Again, I'd say that's like 99.9% .9 accurate, really, really close to the original. So I'd be really happy with that. Then we've got an option down here. You can export this as a PNG or an SVG. This type of image, you're only going to import it as a PNG because it is a bitmap at the end of the day. If you export this as an SVG, I'll show you now, it just won't work. How the SVG exporting works, it just traces the image just like Inkscape or Illustrator would. So if you've ever tried doing that before, you'll just know how bad it is at tracing images like this but you won't ever want this to be like a vector image if you do want it to be a vector just choose one of the like line art styles which we'll do now we'll go detail line art and while that's loading let's have a look at the uh svg export there we go you can see it's really bad nothing to do with our system that's just how tracing works on images we do also get the option as well let's just say we've got rid of that image we didn't download the png you open up your gallery PNG and then it'll just download your PNG to your computer and that'll be him that's a fairly nice high resolution very clear image of the, your conversion and whilst we're looking at the gallery you can see the detail line art image as converted as well so it is obviously more of a stylized type of thing for something like this because it's an orangutan covered in fur so it's not going to get all them fine details in there you'd have to go with something maybe like just standard line art or minimalist but you can see that has come out really well again Pretty good representation of the original image. This is what we can export as an SVG. Let's open that up and there we go. So if we loaded up something like Inkscape, I can just import this directly in there. And this is now a, a vectored image. Right, sorry, right, my apologies. I just realized the recording stopped. So you've missed a couple of steps there. It's just me trying another different image to convert. And this was just a random image off Google. And we've just gone with standard line art. And you can see how clean and accurate it is to the actual existing image. Um, but lastly, now we're going to try an image of a person or people. Again, just a random AI generated image. We could go with landscape with this, but I'm going to go square and do the whole image. Use crop. And I'm going to go, I tell you what, let's go laser engrave too. These two laser engraving ones down here are quite similar in what they do. I'll do both styles with this image now. So you can see exactly the difference on them. But the laser engraving tool one, it should bring down any like bright white sections or any like really dark black sections. It should just like kind of bring them a bit closer together. So if you're engraving on something like slate, then the image should just pop that a little bit more. Um, which there we go. You can see there's not too many bright white sections in there. This little crazy hand down here is just part of the AI generated image. So we'll ignore that completely. Um, but yeah, you can see this type of image would look really great engraved on slate because you've got all the details there. But let's have a look at a laser engraved one now. You may see there might be, you know, a different look to the shadows and there may be brighter sections and darker sections than it was in here. But we'll have a look at it now as it loads. Again, you can see it's a really, really nice effect on it. Um, but there are much more blacks and, you know, bright spots on this compared to what this one was. So if we bring that up in the gallery... We can use the arrow keys to have a look. So obviously you can see the jacket and everything, the hair is darker. And then with the laser engraving too, there's a 
bit more refined lines to the hair, if you will, than it is with this one. So yeah, these two different options are really good. They both work really well with slate, um, but the laser engraving too, I think would work just a little bit better just because there's not super dark or super light areas. But that's it for now, guys. I do hope you really enjoyed this video and enjoying the updates are coming with this website. If you have used it, again, let us know down below. Give us a review of it out of five stars because we'd love to put it on the website. And once again, if you are a content creator, we'd love to collab with you and, you know, give you some credits to try out the website and you let us know how it goes and we can feature your video then on the front screen. If you noticed any problems with it, any bugs or glitches, or if you've got any suggestions for like things to move around or different styles we can add to it, don't hesitate again to get in touch. The email address will be down in the description. And also don't forget to join the Facebook community as well because that does help us out a bunch. And I do hope you have a great experience with the website. We've had some fantastic feedback regarding this and we would love to hear more from you. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We will see you in the next video. Ta-ra